Hey, how are you doing? I heard about this new plugin uh, by Jam Origin called MIDI Guitar 2. It allows you to play synthesizers and stuff with your guitar. Um, I've been using MIDI Guitar for years, so I'm going to compare this new plugin to my old, expensive, rack mount uh, hardware version of MIDI Guitar that I've been using. So, uh, yeah, check this out. <laughs> MIDI guitar does make you play the guitar in a different way. It's partly down to the actual response of the units themselves, like how quickly they respond, how accurately they respond to dynamics and uh, stuff like that. Um, but also the sound of the instrument that you're playing. If you're hearing a piano sound, you're much less likely to be playing your like bluesy licks on the guitar and more likely to be playing like big open arpeggios and stuff like that. So what you're hearing sonically will definitely affect what you play on the instrument. So that's one thing to bear in mind. So I play, I tried to play a few different instrument sounds and uh, a few different playing styles just to see how, it, uh, how they both compare in different situations. <laughs> Well, I wasn't too good, I didn't think. Nearly every time I play a major seventh, it tries to bend the bottom note so that it's the same note name as the top note of the interval. Look. So playing those major chords, it just seems to get really confused really quickly. But the minor chords, It's not so bad with. So let's try the axon, see how that compares to it. Um, so that that handles those major seventh intervals just fine. There's no issue there. I think that's because the axon has got a separate pickup for each string and effectively a separate algorithm working on each string individually. So what you do on one string doesn't affect the other string. Whereas the Jam Origin plugin, it's taking your entire audio stream that's coming down this, so one signal and it's using uh, an algorithm, clever algorithm, to separate out what string's doing what. And I guess when, when you do the major seventh interval, it's a bit too close to home, should we say. And it's kind of getting confused pulling those two notes apart. Right, this is the Axon's turn to go first now on uh, kind of lead sounds, expressive sounds. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a, uh, a monophonic synth. So uh, some of the uh, negative effects of like the accidental triggering and that will be negated by the fact that only the strongest note will be heard anyway in the end, right? So this is more for like a playability kind of analysis, really. So let's play a few riffs that I know.
That was pretty clean, really. How about this one, a more attack-driven riff? That seemed to track really well, even the bits where I was kind of playing palm muting on the guitar, which isn't really a MIDI guitar thing. It was it didn't really affect the way that it uh, responded to the notes, the way it captured them. Uh, but it did kind of influence my feel, if you know what I mean, like the, the feel of playing a palmed note is a bit different to attacking it openly, I think. Uh, let's try playing some stuff that I don't know what I'm going to play. So I'm just going to like noodle around for not too long and you can all like rip the piss out of me in the comments. Okay, I know how to play the axe song because I've been playing it for a long time. And I know not to do this. To pull off and, and hammer on notes too much, you really need to attack every single note. Um, and I think that's because of the way the axon works. Again, it's working on the pick transient. So hammer ons and, and pull offs, unless th there's a real transient element to it, it's not really going to capture it. So that's one place where the axon falls down for me and, and I have to adapt my playing so that um, I'm attacking all the notes and not doing pull-ons and, uh, and ha uh, not doing hammer-ons and pull-offs as I would if I were just playing the normal guitar sound. All right, so the same stuff with the Jam Origin plugin. Well, that riff sounded completely weird to me. There were loads of random triggerings happening during it. So in the software, if I adjust the legato setting, it negates that effect a little bit. Look. So it's not re-triggering and what it's actually doing is adding a couple of milliseconds to the end of every note that I play. So in effect, it's bleeding the notes into each other a bit more and uh, I like kind of overlapping them slightly. So that's getting sent to a monophonic synthesizer, which then is telling it not to close the envelope at the end of the note and then reopen it on the next. So basically you lose the attack of the oncoming note. As you can probably hear there, a lot of the notes kind of bled into each other and it's not really what the riff's meant to sound like. You want to have those attacks in there. But it does get rid of the re-triggering sound. So, um, all right, let's try that other riff. Well, it wasn't that bad, but you notice every time I'm sort of I'm hitting this, brushing the strings lightly with my thumb, and it's triggering a big like, which is a bit annoying. Um, I think they could figure that one out a bit better actually, because uh, that's not something that the Axon does at all. Um, it's the kind of thing that you wouldn't really notice on a recording if it was a normal guitar, let alone a gig. You know, slightly brushing the strings. So you don't really want a suddenly a loud note jumping out of you. And finally, uh, I'll do some noodling. quite nice under the fingers I must admit I, I got a sneaking suspicion the tracking is a little bit quicker on this jam origin than it is on the axon, axon. like a few milliseconds quicker or something like that we will find out and one thing 
And one thing that does impress me about it a lot is that the hammer-ons and pull-offs that the Axon doesn't pick up are actually getting picked up. So that's that's cool. I really like that about it. Right, let's test out a pad sound uh, with the Jam Origin plugin. I mean, that keeps sounding like it wants to re-trigger every time that I take my hands off for some reason. It doesn't seem right to me. Let's try the pad sound with the axe on. Still wasn't perfect, was it? Um, it seemed to, to sort of get confused at a couple of points, but it did seem a lot better than the Jam Origin, I have to say. Um, all right, let's try some kind of uh, sort of slightly more rhythmic attacking kind of key sound, almost like a funk guitar, but with a keyboard sound on top of it. Sounds terrible. You have to modify your playing a little bit uh, to not get all the kind of uh, uh, yep, 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 type sounds. So yeah, you have to modify the way you're playing a little bit. Doesn't do too bad, um, but you really have to pick your battles with that uh, kind of approach on the guitar when using any MIDI guitar setup because um, a lot of stuff just that's very guitar orientated doesn't uh, work at all. <laughs> Let's try that funk guitar attack thing and first of all I'll play it just all messily like a real guitarist. My first feeling of that is it's slightly better than the Axon, but you still wouldn't take it home to meet the parents, would you? Let's be honest. But let's uh, try like a slightly cleaner way of getting a similar type of uh, sound. It's not too bad to be fair to it. It's similar to the Axon, I'd say, with that kind of more guitar-y approach to playing the MIDI guitar. So how about just some slides, yeah? Like we all like doing that. Sounds brilliant, doesn't it? So this is the Jam Origin. I really like that. <laughs> um, that seems to be dealing with it really well. It's it's ev it's you can hear sort of every kind of note that I'm hitting along the way. All right, let's try the slides with the axon. Not very good, is it? You get a few if you're lucky, and if the strings are brand new, you might get a few more. 
but you don't get that consistent kind of sliding sound on it. So you can't really incorporate that into your music. So let's try a couple of bends because bends are wicked on the old guitar, aren't they? Everyone loves them. With the axon, you have to set each patch that you're going to use. You have to tell it what you want to do about bends. Some of them you want it to just bend. You know, like a guitar. Others you don't really want that sound like if it's a keyboard or piano or something. You don't really want the notes to bend, especially like if you don't intend it. Uh, so you can turn it off so it will quantize. So if you do bend, it will actually just play the next note. It won't bend between the notes. But obviously, if it's an expressive synth sound or violin or something like that, you will want to have that option to bend the notes in a lot of cases. So you have to tell it whether it's going to bend or not. And also with both of them, you tell them how much to bend as well. So it's uh, either a normal, you know, two semitone maximum bend, or you can make it bend 12 semitones. So when you bend a little bit, it's actually bending a full octave. It sounds pretty wicked in the right places. All right. So the Axon then. Uh, with the actual bending, it was all right. It feels quite expressive to play, quite responsive. Um, I'd say that's pretty good. And the jam origin. Uh, I'd say the jam origin plugin uh, just edges it. And I think that might have something to do with the latency, why it feels kind of just that little bit more responsive. It's, to be fair, it's quite subtle difference, but it's definitely a noticeable difference there. So the latency of the Jam Origin plugin, it's reporting on the screen, it's three milliseconds, but we're gonna like test that out in a minute. And the Axon, I know it's a bit longer than that. It's maybe like close to five milliseconds or something. A thing to remember about latency is it's not such a big deal as you may think, really, because like if you stand five feet away from your guitar amp, like a gig, you'd easily be five feet away, you've already got five milliseconds of delay, right? Because uh, that's how long it's taken the sound to come from the amp. So unless you're wearing headphones, you always got some latency with your guitar sound anyway, at least when it, you're playing through an amp. Uh, so if you've got the headphones on and you've got the MIDI guitar coming through and there's five milliseconds, it's probably a similar thing, similar latency to your amp at a gig anyway. So it's probably not as alien as you might first think. OK, so let's see how quickly the tracking works on both of these instruments. Um, as you can see, the Axon Axe 100 slightly edges out the competition there and just about beats um, the MIDI Guitar 2 plugin. Um, that's quite a surprise to me, actually, because when I was playing it, the Jam Origin did seem like it was a bit quicker, but I think maybe that's because it's, it is slightly more sensitive. So that's perhaps giving the impression that, it, that it's um, actually reacting faster, but it's just reacting uh, more readily to the touch, let's say. So with monophonic playing, like uh, expressive playing and like bends and solos and like hammer-ons and stuff like that, the Jam Origin plugin is definitely a winner in terms of its sensitivity, but uh, there's not enough control over that sensitivity, I don't think, to uh, calibrate it to your style of playing. So really, you need to be, be able to turn the threshold up a bit further than you can, so you cut out a lot of the accidental triggerings that, that were happening in those demos. The, on the Axon Ax 100, you can do that quite readily. There's lots of adjustment. So you can tailor it to your style of playing so you know that it's not going to accidentally trigger notes um, too much. <laughs> um, so I'd say it's, it's a draw, maybe. It's, it's a hard one to call. I think if the Jam Origin uh, had some more adjustment in there, I think it would definitely be outperforming the Axon, no problem. So there you go. Okay, for polyphonic playing, playing for chords and things like that, um, the Axon Axe 100, the hardware unit, is definitely the winner 
Um, I think that's pretty obvious to be fair, like whether it was uh, picked chords or whether it was those pad sounds, um, the Axon always came out on top. Um, still room for improvement with that for sure, but I'd say it, it's definitely a lot better than the Jam Origin. So if chords are your thing, I think you need to go down the hardware route. And um, the fact that there is separate pickups for each string, as I said on, on the Axon, um, gives it a massive advantage uh, with polyphonic playing. So the overall winner then, I'm going to call it and say the Axon Axe 100 just about edges it. Um, it's across the board response with chords and uh, lead sounds as well. And uh, it's reliability for gigs and that, for me, just about uh, beats the Jam Origin. But that's not to say you shouldn't try the Jam Origin. I think it's well worth a go, especially if you're new to the MIDI guitar world. Okay, thanks for watching guys, much appreciated. I hope the video was useful for you. Uh, please like and subscribe just underneath there and click through to my website, mymixmaster.co.uk where we do mixing and mastering services um, and uh, get in touch if you've got a project that we might be able to help with. Thanks again guys, see you later. <laughs>